In this video, you're going to learn everything you need to get up and running in Star Citizen. I went ahead and provided the chapters down below in case you need to skip to a specific section. I've also included the link to the RSI website down below as well. On the RSI website, check to make sure your system meets the minimum requirements. Then click the pledge store here to get a full list of game packages. Here you see more options. I recommend you pick up the Drake Cutter because it gives you access to more of the game mechanics than many of the other options. But it's ultimately your choice on what ship you want to start with. And if you don't have one already, you can use my referral code here. Once you purchase the game package, download the launcher, log in, download the game, and launch the game. Once loaded into the game, you'll get three options. Star Marine is for your FPS game modes. Arena Commander is for ship combat and racing. And Persistent Universe, this is where you want to go. Once in, you need to create a character. Once done, you need to select a specific residence. I recommend selecting Orison as most of the missions and amenities are there. But irregardless of the residence you select, you can still follow the rest of this guide. Once loaded into the game, you'll wake up in the hab at the residence you selected earlier. Hold the Y key to get out of bed. You can go into third person with the F4 key. For the basic controls, it's WASD to move around, spacebar to jump, and left control to crouch. Hold the F key and move around your mouse to interact with the game world. Let's head over to the elevator, you'll need to get gear. At Orison, the first place we need to go to is the Stratus shop where you'll get basic gear. If you're at Lorville, you'll need to find Tammany and Sons. New Babbage, The Commons, and Area 18 is Kobe Blast. Once at the shop, you need to interact with the shop terminal to buy and sell. Notice the destination defaults to Orison. You can change it to different assets you own, like your backpack or even a ship's inventory. Anything you purchase will be directly deposited here, as long as it fits. You will purchase some armor pieces. These armor pieces will allow you to attach other gear that are essential for survival. We'll also pick up a weapon and ammo. You can also pick up food here with the F key. The I key will open the inventory. You can drag the food over to your inventory for now. We'll get into your inventory later. Hit the I key again to exit inventory mode. Next, we need to pick up some medical gear at the local hospital. At the pharmacy terminal, pick up the Pyramid medical device and some refills. Next, we need to head over to the Providence platform to pick up some essential tools. At the terminal, we'll pick up a backpack. Then the multi-tool. This is your Swiss Army Knife in Star Citizen. It's one of the most important devices you'll need to be successful in Star Citizen. Always have one on you. Pick up some attachments for it as well. The Orbit Mining Attachment allows you to mine small rocks. The Cambio Light LRT attachment allows you to salvage and repair. Don't forget to get the can for it as well. The True Hold Tractor Beam is also important. Now that we have everything, hit I to go into inventory. In this screen, you have your local inventory which represents your personal inventory for the current location. In this case, Orson. You can filter to find items easier. 
Enabling the item port helper allows you to easily see where you can equip items. Equip your armor and backpack first by dragging and dropping or double clicking. As you equip these items you can see inventory will show up on the left hand side. This is an inventory of the equipped armor and backpack. You can rotate around your character by clicking an empty space and dragging. Scrolling the mouse will allow you to zoom in as well. Let's equip the weapons and tool. The multi-tool also takes attachments. For starters, attach the tractor beam attachment then place the other ones in your backpack by holding left shift and left clicking them. You also have the move all button here. Don't forget to equip the medical device. By default, it's always loaded with the full valve. Also, remember to store food in your backpack. If you find value in this video so far, do me a favor and hit the like button and also subscribe. Now we're ready to go. Let's head to the spaceport to get your ship. These ASOP terminals allow you to call or claim your ship. Retrieve your ship and it will give you a hangar. Head over to the designated hangar. Once at your ship, look for a marker that designates an entry point for your ship. Interact with it to enter. Once in the pilot seat, hit R to put the ship into flight ready mode. You can also interact with the actual buttons on the dashboard like so. You're presented with the ship's HUD. This element controls your speed and cruise control. Your signatures are here, weapons are here, odometer is here, hydrogen fuel for flight and quantum fuel for jumping around the star system. You also have access to MFDs, for example comms ship status, radar, target ship status, power distribution, and signatures. You can interact with these MFDs and make changes or customize where you want each MFD screen by holding the F key and interacting with your mouse. To leave the hangar, you need to interact with the landing services like so. You can also do this via your Mobi glass with the F1 key, like this. We'll talk about the Mobi Glass shortly. Use the mouse wheel to lower your speed by scrolling down like so. Strafe up with the space bar. WASD will allow you to strafe in those directions as well as your mouse allows you to pitch, yaw, and Q and E allows you to roll. Straight forward with the W key or hit C for cruise control. The end key will raise your landing gear. We're going to leave the atmosphere of Crusader. Increase your speed with the mouse wheel by scrolling up. While cruising, we'll quickly go through the Moby Glass with the F1 key. This allows you to do everything in the game. You have your character status info here. The Vehicle Manager app allows you to customize your vehicle. Knickknacks allows you to find items anywhere in the star system. The star map allows you to plot quantum jumps. The mode trader allows you to send money to other players. Contract manager is where you pick up missions. VMS allows you to repair at locations where maintenance services are available for your ship. This is your journal. The Delphi app shows you your affinity levels with various organizations you come in contact with as you do missions. The contract manager is the main screen you'll spend most of your time. Here you'll find all types of missions. For starters, I recommend you do delivery missions, racing missions, bounty hunting, mercenary missions to get accustomed to the game mechanics. Hit F1 to exit the Moby Glass. Once you're high enough in the atmosphere, your quantum drive can be used. 
hit B to activate it. Once activated, it will spool. It will calibrate once you point to a beacon. You can manually select where you want to jump to by using a star mac via your Moby glass. After calibration is complete, you can hit B to jump. While jumping, if you want to stop your ship for any reason, you can hold B again, or you can use a U keybind to stop your ship. There are also careers in Star Citizen. You can salvage, you can mine, you can trade, you can do combat. You can find the guides for some of these in the description down below. Also, Star Citizen is a much better experience when you play with others. Consider joining our community discord down below. One of the most important things to learn to do is to salvage and repair your ship. To do this, click this video here. I'll see you there.